and nobody else knows about them until now, and they're hidden in some vault somewhere. That <laughs> just doesn't seem to make any sense. Uh, this is from Dennis Hess. He's in Williamsburg, Virginia. I know Dennis. Hey, okay. Dennis. Okay. He said he he, he says hi. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's in Williamsburg, Virginia. He says, uh-huh. ask him this question. Uh, there is talk about 777 books of the Bible and that the church, I guess he's talking about the Catholic church, he says that in parentheses, is hiding these books in the Vatican. I'm not talking about the known books not in the canon. Uh, can he shed any light on the veracity of this claim? That's well, when somebody makes a claim like that, it's not your job or my job to refute the claim. It's that person's job to support the claim. Mm-hmm. So I haven't heard that claim. If somebody had evidence, I'd ask them, what evidence do you have for that? And what people need to understand is the Catholic Church did not have a stranglehold on the manuscripts that were written down because there was no such thing as an organized Catholic Church for about 300 years. Mm -hmm. And the New Testament manuscripts were predate that by centuries, as you know. So to say that the Catholic Church, I mean, I'm just... I don't know what evidence somebody would bring forth, but just off the top of my head, I would say, how can that be that somehow the Catholic Church gathered all these manuscripts up of other biblical books and nobody else knows about them until now and they're hidden in some vault somewhere? That just doesn't seem to make any sense. Yeah. It's like trying to change a manuscript. You can't change all the manuscripts because they're spread all over the ancient world. So in order to change what the Bible says, you'd have to hunt down every single manuscript and change every single one of them. Can't be done.